Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel and uh, today we're going to be talking about an interesting feature of WhatsApp that you will not miss out. I know most of you maybe would have been knowing it but missing out some features. So stick around, this video I'll be showing you even the secret features that you didn't know of how to link your device to different devices on WhatsApp. So let's dive into it. I'll give you uh, some of the tips that you didn't know. First off, let's start with WhatsApp Wave. Since it's the most popular one, actually, if you didn't know, this is the most popular way of uh, linking your WhatsApp to multiple devices using a browser. And uh, let's dive into it. So go to your computer and open any web browser type in webwhatsapp.com and uh, I recommend using a Chrome browser but if you have any other browser you can use it but Chrome is always the best open your WhatsApp on your phone and now go to the three dot menu on the right corner of your screen and now you select linked devices after tapping on the linked devices tap on the option of link device you want to use mobile data if you're using mobile data it will bring that option now you'll click ok but if you're using wi-fi it will just connect automatically then scan the qr code on your computer screen now all your chat history will be both on your phone and also on your computer it's the best way to multitask and maybe chat while multitasking Another way to link your device is the use of the uh, desktop applications, whether you're using Windows or you're using Mac OS. Step number one, download and install the app from uh, WhatsApp's official website. And uh, let's open the app and now we'll be able to see that QR code. And uh, open WhatsApp on your phone and go to the three dot menu and uh, tap linked devices then scan the QR code using the desktop often provides a smoother experience than the web-based version and also provides a uh, quick accessibility to WhatsApp. WhatsApp now allows you to link multiple phones using one account. This is really handy for people with multiple phones. Step number one, install WhatsApp on the second phone. Step number two, open WhatsApp. Instead of entering the phone number, go to the three dot menu on the top right corner. Then the QR code will be displayed. Then go to your main phone and open WhatsApp and select the three dot menu at the top right corner. Tap the linked device and scan the QR code on the second phone. Now you have all the messages on both phones. Remember that all the messages will synchronize on both phones. Did you know that you can link your WhatsApp to a smart TV? You may be asking yourself, so how can I do that? Well, the solution is a uh, you having the compatibility for instance you need to have a web browser at least you need to have a web browser so that it is easy for you to link your whatsapp to the smart tv that's the only way it will work so if you have any browser on your smart tv just go to the website of whatsapp and follow uh, the first step that i showed you about the web version they're the same things that you have to do. You need to go to the website and now the QR code will be displayed. Then you bring out your phone and now you scan using your phone. After scanning using your phone, ah, you're linked. Those who don't know how to, to connect the phone so that it can scan, you go to the, you open your WhatsApp, you go to the three dot menu, you will select the link devices and after selecting the link devices, it will push you to show you the, li the list of the link devices. And now you will scan. After scanning, you'll be connected with your smart TV. Then lastly, WhatsApp recently introduced this feature where you can link 
your other device using your phone number and um, which is pretty cool for those people that really don't have nice cameras you find someone wants to link the device but the camera is not good this feature will work for you best so let's start by installing the whatsapp for those people that have not yet installed whatsapp on that second device then let's open our whatsapp and now on the setup screen where we want to insert our phone number we'll insert the same number on the other phone i mean the other account the primary account and now we're going to receive a verification code from the whatsapp of the primary phone it's not going to come as the sms but it's going to come as a whatsapp notification let's check out our phones so we enter the code to the second phone there you have it you've linked your device without even using the QR code which is super handy like i said for the people that have devices that don't have cameras maybe they they have cameras but the cameras don't work so good so to the extent that they can scan the QR code so please not please please not these codes are not sent via sms these codes are sent to the primary whatsapp if you want to register for whatsapp you will do the same process but the code will be sent via sms or even a call this is obviously different from the phone app itself um, i'll be doing just the web-based version but it's the same process it's a similar process step number one let's go to the web whatsapp.com on our browser i'm using the chrome okay brave browser then on the web i'll be able to see this option of a link for number option then insert the number of the primary device then click next then after the code is gonna be displayed on our web browser and now we need to insert it to our primary device by allowing permission on our primary device that we're linking then it will bring the prompt where we insert the code and uh please note like i said before this method works for those people that already have the whatsapp you already have the other phone right with you and uh, you just want to link the messages to be able to be visible on your pc this method doesn't work for the people that are creating new accounts or signing up again for whatsapp tip number one quick logout the only way to quickly log out your from your account that you've signed in maybe using a browser or something it is uh you can just go to your app and open it then you go to the linked devices uh when you reach the linked devices you can log out any you tap uh the dots right there and now you log out your device that's that's quick uh tip number two get notified on all devices at once please make sure that you enable the notifications on whatsapp make sure that you enable notifications on your uh, chrome browser or any other browser also turn on the notifications on your pc if you want to receive the notifications of the messages that you'll be getting from whatsapp so you don't have to mute the notifications and uh it won't make sense how will you know that they have sent you messages maybe when you're using your phone and you want to silence the pc well and good are uh, using your your pc when your phone is off you can use the linked device when your phone is also off you can receive the messages you can update status nowadays whatsapp has brought it up you can update status you can do all the other things you can also make calls on the desktop app but not on the web base the web base the only thing that you'll get is an update of status you don't have to worry you've linked your device gone are the days when whatsapp would work when your device is on but now it doesn't work the same way it's now different so we just have to embrace it and uh, know that yeah that's
a new way to go so it's pretty handy and i really like it maybe the last thing that i'll have to say about linking device is a uh, whatsapp is limited to the devices that you have to link you can link in total five devices so the only way you can link multiple devices is if you you signed in for meta verified and uh please people don't don't worry about the sound outside uh they're trying to do something so i'm so sorry about that and yeah that is it for today um we've learned how to link the different devices we've learned about some extra features that we can apply on our whatsapp and also the tips and tricks comment below in the comment section if you have any feature that stands out for you as far as uh, linking your device is concerned leave a comment below about your favorite feature of linking whatsapp and uh, if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to one bit tech thank you so much for watching until next time blessings mm -hmm.